Welcome to Adventure Pilots, it's Requiem. Today's debrief, uh, we're going to be in a P40 against a 109. Um, starting off, coming in about his uh, left 9 o'clock or so, and um, he's just in a gentle left turn. We're trying to get some closure, so we pull the lead pursuit here, we're trying to reduce that distance as fast as we can. So he's probably watching us at this point, so we just pull lead and take a shot, try and put him on the back foot mentally, and we put ourselves in the lag behind him as he goes nose low. So you see we take that shot, but we don't really hit him, but at least it's putting some rounds in his general direction, and then we're into the fight. So as the bandit starts his pull, we're getting into a tail chase, so I'm going to relax my back pressure coming down the bottom, but increase it coming over inverted so I can increase my turn performance with the gravity assist. However, at this point the bandit is starting to gain a few angles on me. Coming up, the bandit's about to do a reversal back to the right. What ends up happening is he rolls a little bit too far. You see it there. So the nose has gone a little bit too low, which allows us to stay close by spiraling over the top. So as we're coming downhill here, we've got a little bit of excess of energy. So as the bandit reverses, if he was to have um, just reversed back into us and turned horizontally, we would have overshot more than likely. So he would have been able to take a shot on us, but he ends up rolling a little bit too far, and that allows us to roll over the top and stay close, keeping our lift vector pointed at him. So we just look at that reversal again in slow-mo. We can see it's a little bit too far, and that allows us to actually still be applying a little bit of pressure, um, even though right now we're actually starting to lose the fight a little bit, because the one and moving further back on the canopy. So I need to focus on improving my flying technique here a little bit and keeping it vertical, as well as extending the flaps a little bit to about 10 degrees and no more than that. What you'll also be hearing is the engine difference because I'm moving between continuous and the combat and emergency settings. But I can't let him get too far away horizontally, so I'll need to go a bit more vertical here and cut across the center of his turn circle to help me stay close enough and keep vertical nearby. Here you can see how the fight's progressing. The 109 is starting to gain the advantage. I'm not really able to compete so I want to try and keep it a little bit more vertical so this way I can reduce my um, horizontal turn radius compared to his that's why I'm going to be cutting across the center of his turn circle keeping the lift vector pointed at him by doing so and still applying the pressure so here we've slowed it down so you can gain tally on the 1 and 9 next to the canopy frame in the middle and we can speed it up so here we're back into the tail chase Again, we're going to roll over, try and cut across the middle of his turn circle. This way we can gain a few more angles while staying vertical. As we continue the slipping fight, it's been a mistake that I've been making, is that I've remained padlock on this bandit without actually trying to look around very much. So I'm not really aware of anyone else around me, and because of how long this fight is taking, it's very easy for a bandit at this point to come in unobserved and kill me. And I've also started to overheat, and that's because I've kept the cow flaps closed at the high power settings at slow air speeds. Now as we slow it down here, this could be a good position for the bandit to disengage from, and it appears that he almost wants to, um, but as we come back downhill, it seems like he decides against it, and actually pulls back up into us. By doing this, he ends up burning a little bit too much energy, so as I come down and take the shot, he reverses as he goes under my nose. You can see that as he comes back into view, I pull back towards him, I feel like I've got the energy advantage here. So as I go vertical, I'm carefully watching his energy state. As he falls away, I kick that left rudder over and do a hammerhead and then come back down on top of him. See, so we can see that high G turn by the 109 here, bleeding off some energy. So as I take the shot, he's going to reverse back towards us. Now we should have the energy advantage judging by his state. So as he's starting to stall out here, he takes a shot, and then we're going to kick that left rudder over, form a hammerhead, and now we're in a position with energy, and we're on a 6 o'clock. Let's look at it again. As we reverse and go uphill, until he takes that shot, but that forces him to stall out. So at that point, we know we have an advantage, we can come back down. So as we come downhill, we retract the flaps so we can gain more airspeed without that extra drag. And the 109 break into the left horizontally, we can't really keep up with that. So we're going to roll out and go vertical again. Bandit reverses back towards us. I'm a little bit slow to roll back to the right, so as he passes underneath us, he gets a little bit of distance away. And then we want to watch him very carefully for the energy state. So just before he stalls out, we're going to use that right rudder and hammerhead down. This way we're gaining the advantage on him while he's still trying to recover. 
So as the bandit comes behind us, we're trying to imagine where he's going based on what he looks like. So we know he's going to pop out on the right hand side and he's starting to reverse back into us, but he doesn't have the energy to keep up vertically. And we can see this because he's remaining relatively stationary in that patch of sky. So we know he's getting ready to drop out in a stall. So this means we should get ready to hammer head down and get ready to make our next attack as we come in behind him at his 6 o'clock while he's still trying to recover. So if we go back to normal speed, you can see we're in a nice position here at the 6 o'clock region. He's still trying to recover. We pull lead and take some shots and we end up scoring a pilot kill. So here we see as the 109 does his brake turn, it does defeat my guns tracking but I give up on it pretty early and he ends up forcing himself to lose some energy by doing that. Here we can see I've got a decent energy advantage as I'm able to come uphill he just stalls out and then I kick that right rudder over and hammerhead and start coming downhill before he's fully recovered. This also has an added benefit because if he sees me coming down at him before he's fully recovered then he knows I'm coming. That can put a bit of panic in his mind and force him to make a mistake as well. If you ever want to see your own fights done in a debrief like this, you can send me the track file with the TACV files over the Sturmovic forums. So I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and if you did be sure to share it with your friends and become a subscriber. And as always, remember to fly safe and check your six.